All right, folks, today we're going to talk just for a little bit about Razer. In particular, their marketing, their branding, their image. In case you're not familiar with them, they're the company that makes keyboards that light up like Christmas trees and have names like Black Widow X Chroma and Deathstalker Ultimate. So, uh, named after venomous spiders and scorpions. The mice are called things like Death Adder Elite and Naga Epic Chroma. So, named after fucking deadly snakes. Even their mouse mats. The most boring thing. A bit of fabric you run your mouse over. They give names like Goliathus and Destructor 2. Right? This company is selling Edge. Their name is Razor. This is what would happen if you gave a 14-year-old control of a tech company. And their slogan, I believe, is For Gamers by Gamers. And their packaging and stuff has these, like, pudgy nerds trying to look intimidating with their arms crossed. And a few days ago, their official Twitter account posted this. You call yourself pro? S my D. An edgy teen style joke ripping on a competitor's laptop that didn't have an SD card slot. Absolutely in line with their image. Exactly what I'd expect from Brazer, which, as we've already established, is edgy teen the company. For some reason, though, other people were shocked that Razer would do this, would say such a thing. Ben Kachera of Polygon published a piece calling it obscene, while another headline proclaimed Razer Computer's S my D tweet is the definition of sexism in tech. And of course, being the mischievous, edgy company that Razer is, they reveled in this, bathed in the attention they got for being a bit naughty. <laughs> Just kidding! They actually said sorry. We apologize for the SD reader joke. To those who were offended, it was intended as a light-hearted turn of phrase that missed the mark. Except, like I said, it really didn't miss the mark. It's exactly what I'd expect from them. And I assumed that all these weird blue hair people who showed up saying, Wow, maybe you shouldn't let a 14-year-old be in charge of your social media accounts. I'd expect better. Must have been buying Razer products with their eyes closed. But I'm not going to blame these people for Razer's capitulation. Because I can't any more than I could blame a retard for repeatedly hitting their head against a wall. It's just who and what they are, it's what they do. They are the social media equivalent of a broken record player. We all still often hide from voice chat, because not a day goes by that I'm not threatened with sexual assault in a video game. This isn't fucking helping. You've got a role in the gaming market. Use it to do the right thing, not to encourage this behavior. What a load of utter bollocks. First off, the context of this is, of course, talking about women. They use voice chat and then people know she's a woman. Ah, oh, no. And then people say things like about how they've got an erection because of her voice or, oh, wait. This is someone talking to me. Hopped on voice chat the other night, which I don't normally do, not to avoid comments, but because uh, I like to listen to podcasts and stuff while I game. That's a very tame example, but happens pretty much every time or every other time if I'm in voice chat. So, uh, yeah, men have the same. Go into voice chat, have people talk about fucking me and coming on me, and how if they were gay, they'd be all over me and blah, blah. So, like I said, firstly, not necessarily a women thing. Secondly, not really a big deal. You can mute them. You can just not be bothered. Just don't care, right? You can just be an adult. You can throw shit back if you want. I just completely disagree that this is an issue. And thirdly, a little edgy joke by an edgy company for edgy kids is not going to encourage so-called sexual harassment. I don't think people, even kids, are learning how to live their life and how to behave from Razor's Twitter account. The people who complained about it and wrote about it, right? They just don't like it. So they have to come up with these weird reasons and excuses to get it gone, to get rid of it because it is not to their personal taste. Which is fine, but they always turn it into a social issue. This is what we face every day and it keeps us out of gaming. I want to be inside the video games. But you keep creating these cultural force fields that prevent my femininity from entering. No, fuck off. Look, go ahead and tear them apart based on it being shit and you thinking it's shit and whatever your opinion of it. Rip them apart. Lay into them. Don't hold back. But don't give us this bullshit. Don't give us this. Razor doesn't want women as customers. Gaming isn't hostile to women. 
gaming peripherals manufacturer tweets, suck my dick. This is as bullshitty as if I responded to this by saying, wow, so you're assuming it's not a woman's dick being sucked by a man who has a vagina, transphobe. This has nothing to do with excluding women. In fact, this is about the inclusion of trans people. I suspect she'd see that as being nonsense. She'd be correct, but it's just as valid as what she said. And uh, if people are going to be throwing around statements like that, just saying, no it's not, or that's not right, is just as good really. Which brings us to what I really want to talk about. Why did Razor apologize and delete their original tweet? Because a lot of people did come out and say, no this is fine, don't listen to those people. Why did the offended win? One obvious one being, the media was offended. There were articles written about how obscene and nasty it was. That probably had an effect in them chickening out of having made a very light joke. Especially seeing as sexist is a smear that really sticks lately. But there's another thing, right? How upset do you think people can get at an apology? Or actually, I should be more precise. How upset do you think they think people can get at an apology? And how upset do you think they think people can get at a sexist tweet that upsets women and puts them in danger and appears in the news? Hmm. They want to sell their shit. They don't want people to be upset with them. They go with the one that seems seems like the better deal, which is probably apologizing. From their perspective, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna bet. And you know what? They're probably right. It's hard to get really pissed off over someone apologizing for a little joke. I mean, it's almost impossible to get upset over a little joke, but it's even harder to get upset over such an apology. You can see some people saying, I'm not going to buy Razor now. But whipping up some sort of boycott campaign for apologizing for a joke, don't see it happening. So what can be done? Because I'm sure quite a few of you agree that this is an embarrassment. If you're going to be a company for edgelords, be a company for edgelords. Just go with it. Instead, now, part of their image, alongside having all these deadly animals that kill people as the uh, names of what they make, part of their image now is apologizing for tame jokes. And what you can do is make sure everyone is aware of that. They are really selling image. And now their image is Razor. For pussies, by pussies. We make gaming gear for people who live on the edge. Uh, type in SMID crosses a line though. <laughs> they were already kind of cringy, and now they're double cringe. And let's be real, any product they've got that you want, someone else is making something just as good or better, and without all the gimmicky shit. So now they've sort of thrown away the edgelord novelty cred. Why would you buy their stuff? Screw them. Fucking chicken shit company. And, you know, on top of that, chicken shit company further setting a standard where you apologize if people don't like your joke. Which, looking at it in a vacuum, you might not think would have much effect. But the people who push them into it are the people who want more examples so they can say, this is what's done in tech, and hammer down anyone else who does something they don't like. If, when people get outraged at a joke, you just tell them to piss off or ignore it, they will go away. I promise you, nothing bad will happen. It's not like you're some comedian just getting their start and you could be ruined by uh, outrage or over a joke. You sell keyboards and mice to the kind of people who would be into that joke. The people who wouldn't buy your stuff because of that joke probably wouldn't buy that stuff because of your branding anyway. But now, of course, you've given these humorless blue hairs a taste of blood. You've given them more power. You've given them an example to point to. See? Razor backs down when we tell them to. Why don't you? You must really be sexist because they agree that their joke was sexist and they need to get rid of it. Why aren't you agreeing? That tweet being removed in a vacuum isn't what's scary for expression. It's that you spineless assholes have decided you want to say something, you've put it out there and then gone back on it based on these cunts who try to clamp down on everyone's speech. Next time, it might not just be some dumb little joke. It might not just be getting upset at an unknown intern or something. It might be a named person getting fired for really doing nothing wrong. Unlike the complaint of, oh, SMID is encouraging certain behavior against women, I think this is feeding into an active behavior, not just some subtle unconscious shift towards behaving in a certain way, but these people are out for blood and you've given it to them. Unlike accusations of subtly taking part in some grand, you know, trend, 
you've directly gotten involved in something I really hate and would like to see not happen anymore. You've shown me that this is a brand for people who have no backbone. So fuck you again. I'm not going to waste my time like some others saying, oh no, poor Razor, you should have left it up, you shouldn't cave in to these people. Because the reason they've done this is that they know people like me aren't going to stir up some huge campaign to destroy them because they apologized for something. There's no fire in me for that. But what I am going to do is follow their example. And what I mean is, they're just taking the easy path. They're going down the route they think is going to cause them the least number of problems. And you know what's easier for me? Not spending money on their light-up, glow-in-the-dark edgelord bullshit. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.